Hi Scorpios, if you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, my name is Steph. I've created an ink blot made in your name and essence that we are going to scry for shapes and symbols that may speak to our psyche and psychic senses. We'll also add on tarot and oracle and where ghost gif is here kicking. We have ghost tube for any audio additions that may further inspire or irritate. Overall, please do receive a release freely. Scorps, you're ready to start scrying. Comment below if you see, sense, or feel anything or keep to oneself as your insights do deepen the reflections and the reading in and of itself. I'm going to take a moment to open up. You're welcome to join me or utilize the timestamps below. Taking a nice deep breath, closing the eyes, cleansing the palate of perception, releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and honor Other of side. the Scorpio Collective. Scorpius, may you meet a message with meaning. Thank you for being here, for your likes, shares, subscribe, and your support. I'm grateful for you, and you warm my haunted heart. Okay, scry on. <laughs> so I'm seeing what I think is like maybe a gremlin. I'm not really sure. It's coming at me with uh, maracas. Is that, yeah, maracas? I feel like you are levitating. I'm also seeing, sorry if my there's ink all over me. Um, I don't want to call it like a devilish figure, but there's definitely, there's definitely something there that I'm rising above. Maybe this is a shadow aspect. Perhaps this is something that you've contended with in one way, one form or another. For some, I'm hearing it's reoccurring and you're noticing the reoccurrence. Uh, sorry, I have a fly buzzing around here as well. So if you see him come through, if it's reoccurring, you're starting to see uh, it's like dropping the petals and the, the reverb of the, you know, putting a pebble in water, the rings, the butterfly effect. You're aware of the butterfly effect as well as like other resonances from other pebbles, people, places, or things. I can't help but feel... Like I'm shaking it off, but in this way, uh, it's bringing me into like a cleansing with a rattle, a sacred rattle or sound breaking, breaking energy up with sound vibration, something along that lines. In danger. You might be interrupting things that feel, it, again, it's like it's when other reverbs come or other rings come towards me and I'm like, ah, ah, ah. So I toss something in to kind of interrupt those. I feel like you're just very, very aware of Scorpios, even if it's, uh, especially if it's self-reflective, right? Because I, I feel like I'm looking at water and I just keep seeing these pebbles and these rings and then it calms down and I see my reflection again. I don't know if some of you have this feeling of like putting a, a personality trait on you and like kind of holding it is as, as so defining that it feels stifling, at least the way I'm feeling it. I'm not saying it is, but it could be stifling. It's like, uh, you know, to personalize it a little bit, it's like being, you know, a Capricorn, Sag, Cusp. It's like, you're so stubborn, you're so stubborn. And for the longest time I, t I took that on. I'm like, oh, I'm a very stubborn person, very stubborn person. Um, lo and behold, you know, like the deeper you run, you run around that and run through it while well, me. me in some spaces, <laughs> one maybe, uh, but in other ways it's like, well, no, I'm not being stubborn. I'm just holding my ground and I'm sorry. That's uncomfortable. Sorry, not sorry. Compassion versus apologies, maybe. All right. Squirp. Sorry. Uh, also wandering in here, I'm seeing, I think it's like a little Shrek. There's a, a monkey. Uh, it's a leaping monkey. One of those monkeys that leap. Tree monkey, maybe? Tree monkey. Okay, sorry. It's not Shrek. It's Yoda. I'm leaping. Uh, it's, it's not a baboon. I think it's just like a tree monkey. Anyway, it's not the point. If that symbol means anything to you, and it's heading to a Yoda. I'm also seeing the Loch Ness Monster Charles. in here. There's something about mythology. Maybe even Scotland. 
Somebody has a nickname like Nessa or Nessie, something along that lines. I feel like I'm on a raft and I'm just kind of sailing away from this wave. There's also something, this is what was bringing me into like the remembering. I'm sorry, I should probably just get my ink covered hands out of there and use my pen. Like if this was a wave. It's unknown. Of something like we were talking about those reverbs. And imagine if you're like a little bug on top of the water, those little rings or reverbs might, might feel like waves. Anywho, so the point being is, is that I feel like I'm on... I've actually used something to my momentum, the momentum to my advantage to kind of uh, use it to sail away. Come sail away, come sail away. I'm also seeing really nice, like, uh, how do I say? Like wrought iron gates or something like that. I feel like I have good defenses, strong defenses. Something about your six pack. I don't know because I'm also seeing little pigs in here. So maybe it's like working on a six pack or sit ups or something like that. For some, I'm hearing that like just sitting up within your day might be a really big accomplishment if there's any sort of grief or melancholy, this, that or the other. Somebody also has a baby and they make me very, very happy. Watching this baby play makes me feel as though Cage. I believe I believe in the future for others, thank you. It uh, brings in this sensation of reflecting upon my own childhood, of the how maybe I felt very constricted and caged in maybe some containers. And I feel like, again, I'm not, I'm very aware of this reverb kind of feel, so I'm not repeating certain cycles. Even if you have repeated cycles and you now see that, I feel like they're just becoming so blatantly aware to you that when you meet them, you're like, no, I'm not, I, I feel very conscious in my choices and somehow very freeing that I'm not over identifying with something, especially at like a version of me from the past or I'm ch choking on my sweater here. Uh, right in about here, you know, those, uh, again, it's water oriented, which is fine. Okay. Water. It's like a jetpack, but water. So I feel like you're like hovering like a Mandalorian but it's connected to water. Water helps you move. And then also one of those seats that allow you to sit like those pants that have a seat in them, which is funny. I'm sure they're very gimmicky. And anyway, it's not the point, but I feel like you have the ability to yeah. remember to sit down at some point in time. Like at any point in time that you need to rest, please rest and don't necessarily view it or see it as a, a weakness. We're going to flip this another time, Scorpios. Uh, for now, we are going to continue scrying. I'm also seeing a rubber ducky. A rubber ducky, you're the one. Something about bath time, playing in the water, water. Yeah, I'm all over. Maracas are playing with these rattles. Something is so, somebody else might be a, a musician. It's a, there's like something tribally in there as well. Because it's kind of bringing me into the band. Well, I don't even know that they're band. Maybe they're just um, artists. Tr a tribe called Quest? No. A tribe called Red. Where they, bl I think it's that. Anyway, I'll link it below in the comments. I'll pin the comment below. Where they blend uh, indigenous music with like dance. It's fantastic. Oh, I shouldn't say dance. Maybe it's more like trance. It's not the point. I don't know what it is. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. Let's take a look at your dream card. So if anything stands out to you, any shapes or symbols that are speaking, sorry, please follow that. Yes, I'm, I'm like looking to make a direct impact. And I'm up there. Okay, I'm going to also grab the psychology card that goes with that. Scorps. I'm hearing the song or rap. Yeah, by I think it's DMX. Stop, drop, but a shot. Oh, whoa, that's a rough rider's roll. I don't know, something like that. Stop, when? drop. 59. Okay, 
choosing is your card. The seeker prostrates himself before the sacred circle. Goals, directing, consequences. I will bring this up for you. See if in case you want to read it or anything else. Choice is when we put energy in one direction and not another. We say yes to one thing and no to all that would oppose. What we choose is what we become. We shall be known far more of our, by our choices than what we say. Am I using my choice making power just for myself or for a greater purpose? Am I using choice making to break my compulsions to free life energy? What is the one choice I can make in each everyday choice? I think I might have said that funny, but I apologize. I can choose wholeness. Only the choosing are chosen. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to commit fully to dealing with the consequences of your choices. And if I may, it kind of feels like we've been talking about that, like levitating above what, what we might perceive ourselves, over-identifying with things and constantly choosing certain things that might be actually be hindering us in some way, shape or form. Seeing a goal, is the goal here or is yeah. the goal there? Is the goal here? Is the goal there? And even once we get to that goal, we'll have another point of view. And it's, again, all these reverbs, these reverbs that follow around. Some of you might be really, really tired. Something about money in, is coming in. Either you're getting a check cut or you're cutting a check for something. Because I feel like that check um, makes a commitment, like to a new apartment or a lease or signing something. It says, yeah. But it's like, I'm going to look and I can't go over it, can't go under it, might as well go around it. And then you still have it's choices. It's what I want. There's also clockwork. Like, uh, I feel like don't drive yourself crazy with clockwork orange type thing. Does that make sense, Scorps? I'll leave that over there in case you want to further reflect. And I apologize if my uh, recording is slightly choppy. I'm doing my best. Scorpios, Cave of Ice is the fountain beautiful page of wands in your cave of winds and your thoughts page of swords and your hearth fire what do we have here for the cave of feeling under or cave of river sorry knight of swords and eight of wands in your cave of earth on the bottom is the queen of wands Like, I want to know, sorry, my other camera setup is uh, for, set up for something else. See how, like, this is very light, sit and pretty. And there's almost like this, like, gremlin, but then, like, this devilish creature, or at least the way, I don't think it's actually a devil, but it's something along that lines. It's almost like you're working in your solar body and your shadow body. I'm not punishing myself anymore for anything is how I'm feeling in this very moment. That sword up here in the cave of hearth fires, your cave of earth, it brings me back here to the fountain. And then if I was to use that, and you have the emperor underneath and the three of cups. Okay. If I was to take this sword and use it like a pool cue to like line things up, almost like I'm a sniper, Scorpio. This is how I'm feeling is like a sniper. Please don't punish yourself with words like that either. You're stronger than you believe in what you've held about, like even like your gut health is coming through your gut health and there's just something about this horizon this horizon in your cave of earth bringing down to earth something's coming through your energy if you're willing to it's it feels like in that commitment if i commit to it uh sorry i'm seeing i think it's a whale in here but i'm on a carousel ride Yeah, I'm on, a, I'm on a carousel ride. And you know, like there's different shapes of like ponies or animals. Yours is a whale. Hmm. Uh, page of wands in your cave of... 
in your cave of, of winds, how you're feeling, how you're thinking. And again, if these cards mean anything to you, please follow that as I tend to follow the art first, uh, as that's my portal. Uh, but please follow your own versus my yammering. <laughs> and if you haven't already, Scorps, please do uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm so grateful for you. And you guys wore my haunted heart. And I truly hope that I add to your existence experience in some way, shape or form. There's that childlike... I want to bring this up closer to you and see, like, oh, sorry, my computer's just, I think it's slowing down. I think I need to start saving for a new computer. I want to free the younger version of me without punishing maybe parents or punishing other people experiences as being problematic and nor assuming any sort of problematic appearance in an placing that upon myself as part of my personality, right? Like coming back to when it was like uh, the over-identifying thing, something or someone and coming into the hearth fires, it's very much so this masculine and this feminine feels like from childhood. And it's like using a sword or like a ribbon thing. Leave me alone. I don't, I do... I don't think that at some point in time, or maybe it's what you've gone through, what you've contended with, that's what you wanted. Just leave me alone and let me do my thing. Leave me. Leave me to just do what I want. But then I'm seeing the, in your cave of rivers and how you're feeling, I'm seeing this like the movie Big, stepping on all the piano keys. Dun, 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 na, 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 na. It's a heart and soul. Da na 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 da na na. Okay, but you get the gist, and you've you. It's almost like you've taken this watery mental sword. It's like I wanted to be big when I was young. I don't know. Maybe there's something about your childhood, or there's a young part of you. There's a youthful part of you. Maybe it's uncomfortable being a student or feeling that somebody else work? can teach you, and that makes you your ego feel small. Whatever the case may be, because in choosing, and your choosing card it is ego. Does it hurt your ego, and why does it when you were, you know, a master in other areas? And that's how you become masterful is by continuously stepping into studentry, which I feel like you know. But I also feel like you've had some sort of magical experience that kind of brings you into that, like that movie big and you've met someone or talked to someone, maybe it's even of yourself or you've just had some sort of experience. Maybe they're mentoring you and they take you under their wing and then you in turn can do the same thing for somebody else by being an example of this. I hope it makes sense somewhere along the line, Scorpios, because it feels very wise and it feels very much so the sage and it's full of heart and soul, your heart and soul. And it's very powerful. Imbecile. Okay. And with this sidebar of what keeps happening over here with the ghost tube, and don't mind it as sometimes there's a sidebar star story going on. But at the same time, I do feel like it fits to some degree or another that there might be just like these words that are thrown at you or maybe you say it to yourself. And I kind of just want to say, dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. And then I want to shake those maracas and be like, can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. Can't touch this. <laughs> it's because of your strength, your ability to sting, but even sting yourself. And I get it. I get it. But there's somewhere that you're going that it feels like water oriented. It's almost like you, you can walk on water. And you know how you walk on water when it's ice? That's what that's making me feel like. And then it's like through, I actually want to turn this sideways and seeing this like celestial ice of sorts being able to make its way through. Scorps, I hope, hope this is served and I haven't butchered your message, but I do appreciate you. And I'm going to tack on a secret language of light card. Vesia, Pisces, Pisces, what's that? Uh, it's like the past, the pa The way I'm seeing it, see for yourself, of course, past and the future, and they're coming together in the eye of now. But you have like some sort of double vision. Some of you might be looking at getting glasses. 
fixing fixing your prescription if you've aged and it's changed yeah it's so that you can see the life that is here for you your earthly experience through all of this clouds and water the clouds are starting to clear they are clear i'm hearing they are clear choose to see the clearing choose to see the clearing it is deep stuff and sultry oh my goodness Scorps, please, please feel this. While you're here in the earthly experience, this your your soul wants to shine, is shining. And this is what's supporting you on the bottom. But it's almost like, if I may, because underneath that is like, I, again, I don't want to, you know, get stuck on the symbology, but that devilish creature, and I'm just seeing the red. It's like, how do I get myself out of this box? This, you know, where it's hot lava, where the floor is lava. Can you feel me? And then I realize I can walk on water. And that's when it, it's because I'm walking on ice. And it, it's almost like the hot. Anyway, it feels very, feels very lovely. I really hope I haven't. It feels powerful. That's what it feels like. It feels uber powerful. Scorps, last message from the mixed deck dark angel you might have a reputation maybe this is how you refer to yourself as there's nothing wrong with that if it's helping you shine it is a point of perception and others per people's perception of you is also a reflection of them it's always like looking at the point of view We can't control how we're perceived, but we can control the way we perceive ourselves. Final message for Scorpio. Thunder and lightning power. I'm telling you, there's something. I got the power. <laughs> can't touch this. Like, shiver. I don't know. There's just something going on. It gives me shivers. And that shaking and the rattle and the sounds and the water. What you speak into the clouds and the, and the moisture in the air, what you speak into the water of how you feel and outwards toward other people, may it be kind and not over identifying with it. If anything in the past is, has said otherwise or said to you, sorry, there's that fly, you know, you are this, Th that is not defining just because it was said in the past does not mean it is a definition. And I think that you know that. And the fact that your awareness and your reflections are like, calling in all the reverbs and plopping out new help me rings is really like your soul and your higher self and that was that jerry mcguire help me help you help me help you it's it's holistic helping yourself because you are quite powerful and that might scare people it might you know it might you know, it's not like you're coming out like bloody mary style in the mirror and you're trying to be candy man or something like that this feels like i'm just i'm in my power and i'm poised I'm poised and there's a lot of forgiveness behind me and within me, but I'm pursuing my own passions and that's passionate. All right. This fly is driving me crazy. I'm going to let you go Scorpios until next time. I want to thank you so, so much for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. Gratitude galore. And until next time, we'll flip it and we'll do it again. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Don't know the rest of the world.